Hey, look. Got my racing gear on. He's got on. his racing gear on. <laughs> He's ready. <laughs> oh, it's got the engine turn dash. The old Gucci. Oh my God, that is cool as chip foose wheels. <laughs> yeah, she's alive. <laughs> If you have seen the first instalment about my trip to the Isle of Wight, you'll know after being charged a small fortune to cross from the Solent, my buddies David, Austin and I stumbled upon a very interesting car collection. We ended the previous episode looking at the replica D-Type, so that's where we'll pick things up. So you built it yourself? Yeah, the XJ rear end is it? It's, um, the chassis is TBR. Is it? Modified TBR. Okay. Um, wow, you can see there, yeah, because TBR's got outriggers. Yeah. That is different, isn't it? Well, that's a it's, jag back axle, haven't it? Uh, I can't, I don't know. Look yeah, so, at the other side of the bonnet, actually. Yeah. It's whatever TVR you use. Huh. Uh, what's that? A 4 2? Or is it 3 4? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. It could be even a 2 4. Okay. Because, oh, yeah, it's quite uh, yeah. short, isn't it? Wait a minute. 1959 car. It was done to uh, the racing spec of. Uh, 1959, yeah. where they had to go below three litres. Okay. So this car is um, registered as a Jaguar, 1959 Jaguar. Yeah. Um, and everything is um, 1959 Jaguar on it. And she's on like a TVR space frame. Mm. Yeah. Which is different, isn't it? It drives... I, it, it must be like the real thing. Um, Where's that? No. <laughs> no, it's. Um, oh, there we go, down a bit. It's so oh, wait, responsive. The... Is it, yeah. I'm trying to find um, the bit to hook the bottom. It, it just goes up here somewhere. Um, oh, okay. No, it just like pops in. Okay, down. Else, just push goes anyway, Sam. I think. There you go. I think goes. Um, yeah, it's, if you turn that wheel, the steering wheel, You'll just feel oh, yeah, that there's it, it? it's absolutely the car will, will slide whichever way you want, mm. and it's mm. it'll just do anything <laughs> you want it to do. You know, it's. Uh, I, I like the perspex hiding the prop shaft. That is, that's something else, isn't it, Austin? Yeah, it's there, isn't it? It's uh, different. To, was, is it different to what you're expecting? Me. Yes. Um. Yeah, it's a little bit different, yeah. Well, you don't know what to expect. No, because a lot of people build these with either a square box section chassis or they use a Jag. I mean, to see someone use yeah, a TVR... Yeah, you a lot on a Jag, but yeah, the TVR chassis well, it obviously works because it's there, it's done, isn't it? Yeah. What gearbox? Jag. Jag gearbox. Yeah, four speed with overdrive. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so that's the... Uh, oh, yeah, of course it's an old Moss box, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that was, that was already already part of, connected to the engine, I suppose. When you yeah, able. yeah, and when you drive the car, like first gear and and that, wine, you're driving that. Yeah, the wine yeah. Of, of everything. It's just like you, you can get up to about six mile an hour apparently at first. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> the, 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 these these um, engines, um, they rev like compared to like the 4 2 the big ones yeah and that because all they did is the same block mm. same cylinder um, dimensions and everything but they they altered the stroke just short stroke that's right yeah so these rev like how <laughs> mm. look at that le mans d type yeah, a couple of perspex broken lenses i see at the front but nothing that can't, can't be rebuilt or ordered Put that back 
Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, we'll start her up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting oh, that. Oh, I think so. Job now. Moment, you saying? Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? It's never been pop now. that. Um, pop the stay out again. Yeah. Can I call you back in two seconds? Wait. It's my dad. Good old dad. Good old dad. My man in the fort, so I can be here. Chasing Come down. There we go. I'm down. Right. Mm -hmm. What have I got to do here? Okay, I wasn't expecting this the at juice. all. No way! Flooded, maybe? Mm, maybe. Oh, it's never normally like that. He's been putting the spot, I see. So, oh, damn. Don't you worry. It's never it, normally well, like that. It starts well, and runs beautiful. Well, we heard it run in a minute ago, so it's probably just a bit yeah. flooded. Yeah, go on. Look, we'll give it a couple of minutes and it'll go, won't it? Yeah, I expect so. Right. Very cool. So you built this yourself? Yeah. Every nut and bolt, eh? Yeah. And so that's one of the best things about these cars, isn't it? You, you saw the, the gentleman Ivan I bought the GT40 from. Um, well, you know, guys, see so you guys know at home, this lovely man here, Gary, he's been watching my GT40 videos and, you know, the way I treated Ivan was hopefully respectful and same with you, you know, and you, you just got to treat people how you want to be treated. And look. Got my racing gear on. got his racing gear on. He's ready. <laughs> I don't know if he's putting his helmet on to be protected by my uh, my cash offers for his car. <laughs> oh, brilliant. But no, th thank you for letting us come and have a look. It's been really, really cool. Yeah, I've had a lot of uh, fun with the car. Um, in fact, when I've done the car, it's um, I took it to a, a car show on the island. Yeah. And um, it was judged uh, at the end and... The judges, the three of them, were walking around the car and they said, my God, they said, how the hell did you get a hold of this car? Mm. You know, I said, well, I just built it. And they mm. couldn't believe it. They thought it was a genuine thing. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, they really did. I suppose when you start looking at the little details and stuff, you know, it does throw 50s race car at you, doesn't it? You've got the rivets in the right places. You've got the aluminium sort of door liners and all the little bits and pieces. It looks really, really cool. I mean, you should be really proud of yourself. It's Super cool. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the, the Jag, the Mark II Jag. Yeah, the, the Mark II Jag was a genuine race car. Right. She was she was brought up to a full race spec. Yep. Um, four wheel discs. Um, the, she was completely stripped to a shell, a tuned engine. Um, she raced s several places and I, I bought the car and I put the interior back in yep. to make it a road car. So when you car. bought it, it had all the race stuff in it, did it? Like the seats yeah, and stuff? Oh, no, it had, was completely stripped out for racing. Right, okay. So I, I put the everything back into it. It was completely from Mouse's nest in the robot. Is it free? Yeah, it's all part of it, wasn't it? Throw the camera in there, Austin, have a move. It's part of the car now. It was done as a Coombs replica. Oh, yeah. Is she a 4.2? She, she is. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a 4.2 in, is it? Yeah. It's still nice. Decent head Should have got in it, really, this, doesn't it? Probably. Mm. He normally fires out, he does 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, this is, I was expecting something completely different, to be honest, Austin. I'm shouting now because my camera microphone's so far away. But I was expecting sort of big in the air, you know, like the Packard sign of size, Austin. That's what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Not tiddly little and smaller, but I think it's cool. Good. I'm glad. You're happy. We're all glad. You want to look in the engine bay, don't you? I'll That's look the thing the you're excited about the most. She was on the road driving. 2014. Just the other day, really. Yeah. And I had no children. Eight years ago. Yeah. Right, are you comfortable with me lifting up the engine bay or would you rather lift up that one? This one's on Ah, quick release. She's well, got a Bentley four pot in it. Take that one off as well. Gently, gently. That's it. Okay, we've got this stuff. We're off. Okay, she's a bit crispy at the bottom. Right, you got that, yeah? That Be careful. Down, yeah. You okay? Yeah. Gently, gently, catchy monkey. Do you want me to take that one off you as well? Oh, You're right. Yeah, yeah, right. So she's got a Bentley four speed. Well, four, four it's cylinder. Well, it's, a, it's a made up car. So she's a Rolls um, Royce actually engine, isn't it? You no, say? it looks like a Pinto, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a made up car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pinto. She's got a Pinto. Looks like it. Manifold, yeah, she's got a nice Bentley. Lovely cover. Bentley top, though. And then that's a supercharger on the front. Yep. Um, well, that ran. The unit is like when that was running, it was like an aeroplane. Honestly, I mean, it was the most awesome engine. Yeah. Did it run? It, uh, I haven't started it for two or three years. Okay. But she, she, there wasn't anything wrong with it. She drove in there, drove in here. I used to drive around everywhere, and um, yeah, she was bloody awesome. You thought you were towed from Toad Hall. <laughs> so it, 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 it sounded like an aeroplane or, or a tank. You know, mm. she, um, with that supercharger on it. Yeah, and the supercharger is shaft driven through the radiator. That's amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> Never saw that. She's got like a half inch square drive going all the way through. Yeah. Yeah, it would sound like a, well, like a racing car. An echolopter. Like an echolopter. Yeah, Le Mans classic. <laughs> we'll put them. I'm to attempt to move the ramble. So it's really sad. Oh. I mean, she was lovely at one time. Maybe. Yeah, that was what called the ride about in that, wasn't it? With the roof off, I bet it's something else. Yeah, I'll be calling a cruise about in that. Oh, yeah. Go down, go down Pompey for a few beers, Austin, yeah. is what you're thinking, isn't it? I'd run the lads down the club in that. <laughs> Mate, that's cool, isn't it? Right. It needs a bit of work now. She needs yeah, a bit it's of life. Shame, isn't it? Yeah. It's all a shame on all of them, you know. Yeah, that is, uh, it's the shame, that's the trouble, isn't it? It's... And then under the cover over there, I believe you've got XK120 replica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that's going to be mooching. Did you say you've got a, oh, this is a fancy engine back here, isn't it? Rolls Royce engine? Yeah, it's a straight eight. Yeah. That's the uh, Phantom engine with it. Huh? A Phantom, Rolls Royce Phantom engine. Well, it's a Rolls straight eight. Could you run to the thing and get my other battery for the GoPro, please? I right? don't know what the name of the kit was originally. No. That was a round one. No. Power to the cat or anything. No, it, it, it wasn't the kit, it was just the body. Yeah, you can buy the bodies off the makers, can't you? Where'd right. you get it from? Do you know? Um, no, I just. I saw, I saw it on eBay, it was painted yellow and black. Oh, yeah. And um, I thought, oh, that's just. Not knowing anything about Thank deep you, mate. pipes. Yeah, you just grab both I, the battery um, packs. I saw it and I thought, oh, that's a really unusual yep. thing, you know? And it's like, yeah. Uh, but even all the catches, like I yep, got, you know, the SS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, Love that. Here's the battery hiding in the boot. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, it's a fun car to drive, that is. Really fun car. You'd never know any of this stuff was here either, would you? No. You're well hidden. Yeah. So there's a couple of things that... So I'm excited about the Jag, but something next to it looks a bit more special. What, yeah. What is that? That's my 1936 Auburn Speedster. Oh. A real one? No. It's a replica. But... But... but no way. But, well, as I say, that, I say a replica. Um, it was produced at the Auburn Works. What? Yeah, by, by um, I can't remember the guy's name now. He, he bought the Auburn Works in 1964, I think, um, because after, when the war came, the factory closed due to the war yep. effort. And after the war, they decided not to open again. So it lay dormant until 1960 right. odd. When um, a chap came along, I can't remember his name, but he bought the Auburn Works yeah. and he started making them again. Wow. And that's Batman was done in 1966. You're just trying to get me excited, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Wow, it's no, that rear bumper is unbelievable. Off. No worries. Oh, I like to win the handbag. Yes. Oh my God. Austin, this is pretty flipping unbelievable. Look at the quad pipes either side. Yeah, it's not really enough for me. Not enough? No. Oh, it's got the engine turn dash. The old Gucci. Oh my God, that is cool as chip foose wheels. Do you want I'll take a picture of this? That's going to get your dad excited, isn't it? Well, that's what I'm thinking. The old man, he's going to be... So, so what engines this bad boy got? She's got a Super Cobra, Ford Super Cobra engine in. Wow. Is that a 427? Yeah, Cobra jet. 428 or 427 or 428. Does it make you smile, Austin? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a peek under the engine? Yeah, that's that's sick. Secret. I'm done. Supercharged. That's got a little, um, little side entry blower there. Where? That's all this. That's, no, that's air, air con pump. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. All the little details. You got a few belts there. You don't. Want, they're not going to catch anything, are they? Oh, it's nearly. That is cool, isn't it? The battery's down a bit. Yeah, she's alive. like a V8 roar in the morning, eh? Nothing like it. Gosh, a... That's all right, we've heard her. That is flipping lovely. That bumper's something else as well, isn't it? Someone spent a lot of time on that bumper, haven't they? Yes. Well, that rear window, I've fallen in love with a little bit. That rear window on the Corvette, it's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you know the original one, they came a lot further back. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's a special one-off car. Mm. Um, yeah, it was all up and running, lovely. Um, it, she would start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she would start. Dri dribble and a blast at the road should be alright, wouldn't she? Yeah. Right now we've got XK120 to look at. Right. And let's have a. It's all happening here, Dave. It is. If you hold it up in the air. But you get a bit of a better view. Oh, 
What a colour. Perp Dog Millionaire. Yeah, it's a very rare colour. I spoke to Auto Team about it and um, they said that's a special order colour. It's called Loganbury. I bet polished it's, up this would this would be the most satisfying car yeah, to polish. I, I polished this and this shines like a bottle. It's not paint. It, oh, is this the actual um, gel. glass gel coat itself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, again, it's a what XK engine rather than the later um, XJ. Yeah, yeah. So what's that? Three point four, three point eight. Uh, I think this one's a four two. It's a 4 2, is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, another lovely car. Mm -hmm. I drove her around the island. No. I drove her around the island. Um, Manual? Five speed? Auto. Auto. Yeah. Very. Um, Deceiving stick. Very deceiving stick there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's an auto. Yeah. Wow. Scorpio seats. You look like Scorpio. No, Puma. Full Puma seats, maybe. Could be. Wow. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Could be just the. Um... One bear. Yeah, X type Jag. <laughs> yeah, could be. And that's the gel coat. Yeah. It's cool, isn't it? I don't know. What size does that look? <laughs> I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but we're running out of time for this episode, and you won't believe what Gary had in the boot of his Mark II Jag. And believe it or not, Gary isn't done surprising us. There's yet more to see at Gary's in the next episode. Make sure you join us for that. Woohoo! Now we're cooking on gas. Yeah, it's some Norton. <gasps> Look at the Norton single cylinder. Quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and then the bell button. So you get alerts when we release new episodes and follow us on social media too for extra stuff and more alerts about videos we're releasing, which at the moment is every Sunday and the odd Wednesday too. Bye for now.